what's up kingdom family listen baby i'm always yawning before i start these videos I'm so sorry <laughs> so sorry what's up i miss you guys so much listen baby let me do my intro what's up kingdom family welcome back to the keys to the kingdom where we drop all the keys to the kingdom dr g is in the building if you are new to the royal family come on and hit that subscribe button because we're kings and queens actively living out our purposes full of positive vibes changing lives and loving on the lord right this is the place to be you do not want to miss the messages that come through on my channel shout out to my faithful family yeah always in the building holding it down in the comments i love y'all so very much and i'm truly blessed and grateful to share this journey with you all listen baby like comment and subscribe like comment and subscribe join the royal family because baby this is the place to be okay this is the keys to the kingdom where we give you all the keys to the kingdom but they are also the keys to your freedom okay and so listen comment especially if you are new let us know where you're from so we can welcome you okay and kingdom family when i cannot welcome the people okay the newcomers can y'all please welcome them for me because listen baby thank you we're in this together okay shout out to 14 thou wow in the building okay shout out to 14 thou wow our family is growing so beautifully all right and it's literally a blessing from our heavenly father i just he never ceases to amaze me so i don't know like this smile i literally have link uh, wrinkles on my face from smiling so much because that's how god that's just what he does okay he keeps the girl the queen smiling and in good spirits even when i'm having my rough days he just knows what to do to bring this smile back to my face and so thank you all for being part of our royal family it is truly an honor and i can't wait to see what else god does with us for us okay 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 listen let's get into this y'all caught us on a good a good note a good note okay we not having no family issues it's all love today the lord literally gave us uh a psalm okay psalm 103 now let me know in the comments if y'all read this before okay because when god sent this beautiful woman to give me this scripture right i was like i seen in my notes that i read it already i read it before and i was like oh i have it underlined and i'll tell you the little note that i have jotted down here but i was like wow god is speaking and he's moving and he's just so good as always and so anyway this lady came to me out of nowhere and i've seen her in a, a different location um i normally see her because she works in dollar tree but <laughs> so when i go to dollar tree i see her and um although it's not a dollar anymore which you know frustrates me but um yeah she's always so respectful always so nice so anyway i was in a cafe earlier and i seen her then as well and uh she was with her husband and she was talking to me about like some toy drive that they're doing at the dollar tree so anyway long story short she came back to me and out of nowhere and you know i can't describe when god is divinely connecting you to somebody but it's always you'll constantly see them like you'll constantly run into them it will be intentional right and it's like you're you think you're meeting for one reason but then you realize the other reasons that you're meeting this person for okay so anyway it was like that it was an experience where i thought it was just one thing but then she came back and she started speaking to me about god and i was like oh you know about my lord she said she asked me something like um do you have something like do you have the lord with you or do you have god with you and i'm like yes he's with me okay and i was like my bible i carry my bible with me everywhere i go um <laughs> and i'm always like talking to him or whatever praying with him and then she just started speaking to me and so she said read psalm 103 and i knew it literally was from the lord okay so let's get into it i pray while i did all of that talking that y'all actually went to get your bible pulls it out and you're at 103 okay waiting for me to stop talking all right here we go it says 
Now, this is a Psalm of David, and it says, Praise the Lord, I tell myself, with my whole heart. I'm reading from New Living Translation. <sighs> with my whole heart, I will praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, I tell myself, and never forget the good things he does for me. He forgives all of my sins and heals all of my diseases. He ransoms me from death and surrounds me with love and tender mercies. He fills my life with good things. My youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord gives the righteous, the Lord gives righteousness and justice to all who are treated unfairly. He revealed his character to Moses and his deeds to the people of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious. He is slow to get angry and full of unfailing love. He will not constantly accuse us nor remain angry forever. He has not punished us for all of our sins, nor does he deal with us as we deserve. For his love is unfailing towards those who fear him. Is as great as the height of the heavens above the earth. He has removed our rebellious acts as far as from us as the east from the west. The Lord is like a father to his children, tender and compassionate to those who fear him. For he understands how weak we are. He knows we are only dust. Our days on earth are like grass, like wildflowers, wildflowers, excuse me, we bloom and die. The wind blows and we are gone as though we had never been here before. But the love of the Lord remains forever with those who fear him. His salvation extends to the children's children of those who are faithful to his covenant, of those who obey his commandments. The Lord has made the heavens his throne. From there he rules over everything. Praise the Lord, you angels of his. You mighty creatures who carry out his plans, listening for each of his commands. Yes, praise the Lord, you armies of angels who serve him and do his will. Praise the Lord, everything he has created, everywhere in his kingdom. As for me, I too will praise the Lord. So listen, my loves. This is David. Like I'm going to read a little bit of the um, translation in a second. But basically, God is reminding us of... He wants to remind you of how much he's really rooting for you, right? I know sometimes y'all get into a space, either in a physical circumstance, like a physical bond or like a head space where you feel like, God, I don't feel connected to you. I don't feel like you're hearing me. I don't feel like you're next to me. I don't feel like we vibing right now. Okay, I feel far from you. Where are you, right? Or you think that you've committed a sin that's so heavy that he's not going to come back, right, for you. God is here is reminding you of his goodness towards you, of his heart towards you, of his faithfulness towards you. He's like, I forgive you for all of your sins. I save you from death, right? I love you and surround you with my, my tender mercy and goodness, okay? I renew your, your strength, your youth, right? Like an eagle, okay? He hates when people are treated unfairly and, and is a just God, right? And so anyone doing anything that makes you um feel out of place or like they're mistreating you or mishandling you god is going to handle that situation or that person for you he's going to make sure that you are well okay and all things concerning you is well okay he don't play about you and that needs to be your confidence right when you're walking this this narrow path out with god okay um he says, I reveal my character to you, okay? So God has been showing you who he is and how he um, moves in this lifetime, okay? How his spirit moves, hallelujah, because I'm telling you, baby, it's more than this Bible. It's more than this Bible. God's spirit, when it is moving, when it is flowing, when you staying in the whiff of it, okay, baby? His love is unfailing, okay? He says he doesn't stay angry at us for um forever and so although your sin right when we live um in a state of rebellion or disobedience or we fall away from the faith yes that upsets him but he does not stay upset forever he again 
opens that door for you to come and be obedient, for you to hear him, for you to listen to his commands, okay? And carry out them on this earth, carry out his plans, live and thrive, right? In the Lord's perfect will and way for your life, all right? And then boom, praises, 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 okay? Because praises... Uh, not only do they make your spirit feel a lot of better, right? Like it takes away the sorrow, but it makes the Lord just feel happy. It makes him, you got to be the Lord's cheerleader, okay? You got to be hyping the Lord up too, like, okay? Um, He don't really need you to hype him up, to do what he want to do, but I'm telling you, it works, okay? If he, if he sees your faith, because what it really is, it's literally you're matching your faith with, um, his promises okay so when he promises you something and then you get excited about it and you're praising and you're worshiping and you're um rooting for him like a cheerleader would right like yeah god i know you could do this for me i know this is going to happen i'm going to profess things over my life and declare things over my life and prophesy things over my life and over other people around me right like all of that confidence right he likes that okay he does something to him okay that's what he wants you to do. No. <laughs> All right. Listen, baby. All right. Let's get into this. It says, even though the psalmist has confident hope in soon witnessing God's intervention in Israel's situation for the time being, he will continue to suffer. God, oh, I'm reading the wrong one. That's 102. I was like, suffer. We're not talking about suffering right now. Let's go on to 103. <laughs> it says this psalm celebrates the work of God as he forgives and acts on behalf of his people. It is attributed to David who opens the song with personal praise. Oh, my soul was used as someone today might say note to self. Okay, it says the verb used to describe acts of God's are revealing. David has been forgiven healed redeemed crowned satisfied and renewed did y'all hear that okay did you did you hear it listen maybe because some of you you have a, a david okay storyline so this is for you this is your your message from god god is saying you have been forgiven you have been healed you have been redeemed you have been crowned you have been satisfied you have been renewed he has experienced the love, compassion, blessing, and infusion of strength that only God can provide. <sighs> Baby, God done gave you something only he can provide, okay? Only he could do it for you, all right? Won't he do it? Oh, yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. It says God receives no satisfaction from punishing human sin. It doesn't please God to punish you and to leave you, right? He does it to correct you. He wants you to surrender to him. That's the only reason why he does it. But it doesn't please him to do that, okay? He doesn't want to ever make you feel like you feel abandoned or in his wrath. But it happens, okay? And so he desires for people to forsake their iniquities and turn to him. When they do, he gladly removes sin as far as from the east is from the west, Nothing is greater than the love of God. Regardless of human response to the Lord, God's rule is total and unquestionable. He, he is praised and obeyed by the mighty angels of heaven. Creation itself speaks its praise. How much more then should people respond to the love and mercy of such a mighty God? I love it. I love it. That is for someone. That is for all of us. It was clearly for me uh, <laughs> today. God wanted to remind us of just who he is, his role in our lives, and how he has been working hard to be with us on this journey, to stick things out with us, to carry out his plans, okay? And um, I just love that we've been redeemed healed satisfied renewed all of the things all of the things all right my loves i'm going to let y'all go 
and let me know if y'all think anything about Psalm 103, if it has hit your spirit in any type of way, or if the Lord has led you there in previous moments, okay? And, um, oh, let me read my notes to you guys. I wrote, be around people who love like God and be a person who loves like God. <laughs> I don't know when I read this, probably like three, four years ago, but, um, yeah, in my spirit. So when I'm reading the Bible, basically I'm hearing things in my spirit, right? And so, well, from the Holy Spirit rather, and I write down what I hear and that's what it was. I wrote that. Be around people who love like God and be a person who loves like God. That's deep. That's deep. Because y'all know how hard it is to love like God. <laughs> do y'all know how hard it is to love like God? And do y'all know how hard it is to be around people who, who love like God? <laughs> okay. So not only is it hard for us, but then it's hard for us to find other people who can who can match us, who can meet us, right? And that love. So that's where we at with it, okay? That's where we at with it. We want to be God's love, like Christ's love, right? And then we want to receive Christ's love from other people, okay? Uh, it's happening. God is moving. He's so beautiful. I love you all. Be blessed. Do not forget to be a blessing. I'm going to try to go and take a nap or whatever. Don't worry about it. Uh, go visit the queen at infinitelyhealed.com for any counseling and healing services I offer. Dr. G will meet you over there. Listen, baby. Listen, baby. Like, comment, and subscribe, okay? And until next time, bye, babies. I pray that's my thumbnail. I pray. <laughs>